hello and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be filming a day in the life today is exactly one week until term starts and i've been given some prep work that i need to do for my fluid dynamics courses that i want to take so essentially what they've done is they've said okay here's a list of all the fluid dynamics modules that you can take and there are certain prerequisite things for, for each of them and they've given us some worksheet problems according to that so there's like 10 questions i don't have to do all the 10 because i'm not planning on taking every single one of the fluid dynamics lecturers just lectures just because there's quite a few on offer so yeah today is is prep work and then i have a formal this afternoon so this is the first formal that i've ever been to at cambridge so i'm very excited so i thought you know i would film and show you what i'm getting up to while i'm doing a bit of maths and also a bit of socializing as well so i'm going to keep this introduction short because if you can hear there is a bell that's been going off since about seven o'clock this morning and i'm not sure what it is so yeah it is half eight now i've just done my skincare got tidied up had my breakfast i had my vitamins and everything and now i'm going to start continuing with the prep work that I did so yesterday I started with the questions I got up to question five and then the day before that I was doing all the lectures so there was like 10 lectures to go through for each of these relevant sections so today is continuing with the questions I stressed myself out a little bit yesterday because I just wanted to get them all done in one day and sometimes when you haven't been doing revision and haven't been doing examples for a long time your brain is kind of like where we need a break so today I'm taking it seriously and doing the Pomodoro technique because yesterday I just burned myself out. I was like, okay, question, 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 and my brain just wasn't working. So today is Pomodoro technique and hopefully get some good maths in and then get ready for the formal. So yeah, on with doing some maths work. Okay, so it is nearly 11 o'clock. I just took about a, well, like a five minute break. Um, I need to start doing the Pomodoro technique again. I said that I was gonna do it this morning and then I just forgot because I just get so into doing my work that I forget to take breaks and that's not good. So it is, as I said, 11 o'clock. I am on question seven, which is on boundary layers, which is quite interesting. The thing that I found with most of these exercises is there's a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now, like questions now, which aren't actually relevant per se in modules until after this semester so i'm doing things now that are also relevant for certain modules but then also modules for lent term as well i'm kind of doing this work for modules that aren't that i'm not going to be studying this semester but it's always good to refresh my memory on things the good thing with this sheet is that we're going through them a week today uh, in a lecture thing with two I think they were PhD students, I think they may now just be working there, but they basically just said just have a look at them, um, you know, maybe have an attempt of them so that you know what you're preparing for, what you're going to be doing. So that's my plan today, it's like I'm trying not to get myself too stressed out if I don't understand something straight away, because I have an entire week to go through it, and also we're going to be going through it in the lecture anyway. So I'm going to continue with question seven which is on boundary layers. Okay, so I started doing a bit of maths on boundary layers and then I just met Alistair, who I've mentioned in a couple of my videos previously, who was living next to me this year. Um, so that was lovely, so we talked for a little bit and then I kind of got back to a bit of work. I have decided to stop now to get some lunch because I'm really hungry. <laughs> and I've been doing Kelvin Helmholtz stability, so there's not a lot there really. Um, and it's when you have two different flows uh have kind of two flows on top of each other and they're going at different velocities so in this, in this example we use 
two different flows, different velocities, same density, uh, but with surface tension this time. So I'm used to it where we don't have surface tension, we just neglect that and that's the common thing that you do with, with Kel Kelvin Helmholtz instability. Whereas this question asks us to do it with surface tension. Um, and I think I know how to go about it. Um, I've just done a bit of research and, and Googling to check how surface tension influences the, the flow of things. So I'll be implementing that after my lunch, but I'm gonna get some lunch now because I'm really hungry. Um, yeah, and the formal tonight starts at about half six. So I'm meeting Eleanor, who is a friend I've made in the postgrad community, and we are going to be meeting outside the buttery at half six. So I think I'm gonna try to get ready quite early, like four, because yeah, I take forever to get ready. And also I pref prefer to have like less time getting stressed about getting ready. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready really early. Um, and then I suppose I could take some pictures, who knows? Not that I'm really the picture type, but anyway, yeah. So I am going to get some lunch and then crack on with a little bit more maths. Lovely. That's going out today, so I need to eat it. And my coffee has gone disgusting. It sometimes does this when I mix it with soy milk. Um, yeah, but waste not, want not. It's a very cloudy day today in Edinburgh but it's better than the rain that was forecast. I'm hoping the rain stays away before the formal. But luckily, because I'm so close to, like I'm on Sydney campus, I don't have miles to walk. Well, I say miles, I don't have uh, like anywhere to walk really that's gonna be too much in the rain. So, so that's one good thing about being <laughs> placed in undergraduate accommodation instead of postgraduate accommodation. So I just had my lunch and relaxed for about an hour, to be honest, it's one o'clock now. Um, and I feel a lot better for having a rest and also for having another coffee. I got to Cambridge and I was like, okay, I need to stop having so much coffee. And then I stopped having coffee and then I felt miserable. So <laughs> I started back with the coffee. I'm not like a coffee addict or anything. I just have like two coffees a day, but yeah. Anyway, right, so it's one o'clock. I'm gonna start getting ready at, I think four. Um, which is quite early, but I have quite a bit to do. Like I need to wash my hair and actually pick out what dress I'm wearing, which will probably take most of the time um, and just get organized. So I'll stop work at about four and then just start getting ready. That took some doing. <laughs> there was a lot of K's and L's and M's, but I got to zero. And that's all that's important. And it means that the phase velocity and the group velocity are orthogonal, which is what he was asked for in the question. Yeah, cool. <sighs> okay, wow. Um, I am very happy, actually. I've managed to go through all of the questions. I haven't done question 10, but that's because question 10 is on a topic that doesn't come up in my in the modules I want to take. It comes up in theoretical physics of soft condensed matter. So I could technically take that module um but you need to have a good understanding of theoretical physics uh, you need sorry you need to have a good understanding of st statistical mechanics which i do to a certain extent yeah it's not one that i'm thinking of taking for this first semester i'm thinking of taking slow viscous flow fluid dynamics of the climate and astrophysical fluid dynamics and then potentially take the biological physics and fluid dynamics module i don't want to put too much pressure on taking loads of modules i think it's going to be quite an intense course so i don't want to limit myself and and take loads and loads of modules and then stress out about it but equally i only really need to take three modules but i want to take an extra one the biological physics and fluid dynamics just because then i have something else and i think it'd be quite cool to learn about fluid dynamics in the body and in biology which is quite cool so yeah there are parts of each of the questions that um i've kind of left um i feel incredibly tired today i've done quite a lot and i'm very happy with what i've managed to get done so it's quarter to three now and i'm probably just going to chill for the next hour watch some tiktoks edit some tiktoks edit some youtube videos actually and then start getting ready for the formal but i'm very happy with what i've got done today and then all of tomorrow i can start writing it up and finishing off the questions i didn't manage you know the ends of the question that i haven't managed but the good thing is like i said at the start of the video at the start of the video we were going through it in a lecture so yeah quite happy well in fact very happy yeah, going to chill now before a very, uh, very fun evening. So yeah, I'll tune in when I'm getting ready for the formal. 
negative. I mean, there's no reason why I would be positive because I literally don't go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it has been quite a busy week. So I have just dried like the first, like the top part of my hair and I've left the rest of it a little bit wet to try and make it go curly because I was aware, I was concerned about my hair going really frizzy with my hair dryer because it's different water here compared to at home so i'm gonna now start putting on some makeup and yeah it's 10 to 5 so i'm ready very early but my makeup might take me forever so yeah i'm gonna start doing some makeup Hello, okay, so my hair's gone a, a huge mess. It's just, yeah, I kind of just straightened it really, but I decided to just brush it instead. But I am all ready. Um, yeah, the, the gown, the gown's a bit like strangely wearing a gown, um, but it's quite nice because then if I eat loads of food, I can just like cover my stomach, so. Yeah, I am glowing i'm happy i'm very very happy and yeah this is my outfit i don't know if you can just like tilt it down a bit that is my outfit for today i'm feeling very bloated but yeah i'm just trying to make sure my head doesn't come to the front because when i do that i just look like haggard so i'm trying to avoid that yeah but being all cute and uh ready for my first formal now i need to get things sorted so i need to figure out what i'm taking with me and also maybe just start on my hair and brush it again because it's gone a bit crazy but yeah i will uh move to the formal bits hopefully i'll be able to get to like film um yeah so cue a formal i guess I've taken my makeup off very poorly. I've had the loveliest night and yeah, it has been, I look disgusting. But anyway, it's fine, we move. Yes, I've had the loveliest night and have met the loveliest people and have made a really good group of friends at Cambridge. And tonight was just like so different to anything I've ever experienced before. Like just dining in a hall and like I know that sounds a bit weird but yeah wearing the robes and feeling like I was very much in Harry Potter so yeah it's been so lovely I've had such a lovely evening I've had such a lovely evening so I'm gonna finish eating this um if you enjoyed the video then please like subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next one